Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go upstairs and empty out. <laughs> Welcome back. I think I'm going to go. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave. How about that? See now, ya. <laughs> I think I'm going to drop off my inventory, and I'm going to go to the Mesa. Do you, okay. Do you have any birch, though? I do. I'm putting it in this chest. Oh, right birch. Here. Excuse me. Not birch. Not birch. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's dark in here, oak. too. Okay. Bottom chest. I need to... Or top chest, I mean. What do you need for the Mesa, exactly? Uh, I'm going to get some uh, colored... Uh, you know, mesa blocks. Um, and I think because like we want these lines to be different colors, right? Uh, okay, so you're gonna outline the walls and well, mainly the floor is the main thing I was thinking about. And like since we're starting to dig down beyond this floor area now, like I want to be able to put floor back down at least you know for the intersection style part of it. Um, okay, so I want to go ahead and get blocks for that. Uh, I think I put everything at the top. Yeah, everything's at the top up here. What you want? First time I've held dark oak logs, apparently, because it's like new inventory item. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I don't know what colors. I'll just go look at the colors in the mason, kind of decide there, I guess. Um. So we announced the uh, marathon today. And you excited? Um. So the dates for anyone that missed the announcement um, is October the twenty sixth or twenty. 5th, I believe, is that Friday. So probably 25th, 26th, 27th. Yeah, October 25th, 26th, 27th. Those are the dates. Um, so, yeah. Marathon. I'm, no, I'm, def I'm definitely excited. I, always, I love the marathon. I think it's fun. Just so much. There's so much stuff that I do between October and November every year. And it always... Everybody seems to think October and November must be like this empty time frame. Because like my sister... Um, decided she's having her wedding in November. Because that was when everybody's going to be easiest for everybody to come. Right? Really? <laughs> So it's like a very first weekend in November. So literally, like, I will be gone the weekend before the marathon to Michigan to do stuff uh, that I do every year there with keeping up that ski patrol certification. Um, the very next weekend, I'm in at the marathon. And then the weekend after that, I am in Michigan again for my sister's wedding. <laughs> wow. Oh, he Which, came by back. The way, I told you. What came back? The fox. He's back. Uh, what the fuck is it? Um, do you have any blocks? Um, Come block him in over here. So he doesn't go back in the nether portal. I still have to figure out a speech to make to run the wedding. Oh, eh, just Google it. I might. I got to throw in some jokes here. Is this end? Is it dead end? Okay. Yeah, dead, dead, dead end. Um. Okay, he's, he's blocked in down there now. <laughs> uh. All right, we'll have to, we need to give him a home, a proper home, at some point. Um, yeah, I mean, can't you just like, I mean, do you does it have to be unique? I mean, no. She even said I could probably Google the most, be a little bit unique, but you still have to. You can't just like you know phone it in. You know, you still got to do, you know, make it you know special in some way, shape, or form. So I just stress still to make sure you do it right and you don't do something that they're going to be, you know, upset with. I don't understand why she wanted me to do this, but, you know. Well, I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm not saying, you know, phone it in, but I was thinking it could be something where it's, you know, kind of like your standard, this is the speech. That Dearly you beloved, we're right. yeah, yeah, yeah. today. I mean, yeah, I, I I probably can do that, and it would be absolutely fine. But you know, I want to I want to make sure it's better than that for you know. Okay, well, see, that's what I didn't know. That's what I, kind of what I was trying to get at. Is it is it the kind of thing where it's mostly the standards, or does it have to be special? Yes, uh, but at the same time, I find out different stuff about this wedding every day. I feel, <laughs> and so uh, the uh, how many weddings have you been to in, in your life? A decent amount. Three. Wow. Okay. Mine, my aunt and uncles, and Crystal's brothers. <laughs> okay, <here>. then two. <laughs> uh, well, I guess you could count yours, but wow, I've okay, I've counted a lot of weddings in my day, I guess. Um, and I've definitely been to some of them before, where people, in order to get a uh, a cheaper venue, you know, you're doing it at a place that requires you to like clean up after yourselves and you supply your own, you know, decorations and things like that. Apparently, that's what is happening at this wedding, though I don't quite get it because I, I, as far as I understand, it's still at a very like fancy wedding venue. 
But I know my parents have been, you know, talking about, you know, how they're going to be there and they got to help clean up when the wedding's done and all this stuff. And uh, just more and more, she keeps like saying every time I talk to my mom about it, she talks about how, you know, how late they're going to be there. And it seems to almost like extend later and later every time. And my parents are watching my sister's three kids as well, who are, you know, 10, 11, three of the four, um, the 10, 11 and 12 year olds. And they're going to be at the wedding. They're the only kids, remember, that are allowed at the wedding after, you know, the eight, eight o'clock. But they're apparently going to be there. They found out, like, she's like, you know, we're going to have the kids there. They're going to be super tired because they have to stay with us until we're done cleaning. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize you were literally keeping them there with you guys until you're done. Cleaning. Well, yeah, well, we have to clean and, you know, we got to get out of there. And I was like, well, what time do you think that's going to be done? And she's like, well, the bar closes at two. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So you're all, all going to get drunk and then clean up the place yeah. afterwards? Well, well, my parents aren't going to get that drunk, I'm sure. But there's going to be like, you know, other people there cleaning. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. No wedding bar is open until two o'clock. That's morning, a good point, right? too. Yeah. Wedding bars are open until 10, 11, maybe 12 if you push that extra money. And she's like, well, then, no, the wedding bar shuts down, but it's attached to a restaurant that has a bar that's open until 2. And this is the first time I'm understanding that it's attached to some restaurant in some way, shape, or form. So I don't quite understand this either. And I was like, oh, yeah, but still, like, you're, the wedding is going to be done at 10 or 11 or something like that. And then you're going to start cleaning. And, like, I don't know how much stuff you plan on having to clean up. And she goes, well, yeah, but we expect you to be there cleaning too, right? <laughs> and I was like, uh, what? And she's like, yeah, we expect you to be there helping us clean too. And I was like, you realize that I will be there with two children who aren't allowed to be in the wedding venue past 830. You expect me to stay till the end of the wedding and then afterwards to clean while my children are being watched by somebody else at some like some place. Yeah. So yeah. I'm curious have you if you've ever been to a wedding where that was your responsibility. No, the only wedding I went to, well, <laughs> one of them I was 8 years old <laughs> and the other one was Crystal's brother which we drove into town, went to the wedding and then went home. So, okay. <laughs> oh wait, no, I went to my mom's uh wedding. But then, well, that wasn't a thing either. <laughs> so no, 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 I forgot about my mom's wedding though. Um but no, I've never had to clean at a wedding. So I've definitely been, I remember my cousin's wedding, but I knew that up front. I was an usher and I think ushers are the stupidest people to have at a wedding because you make them buy a tux or rent a tux and all they do is escort people up and down an aisle. They spend a lot of money and are really not part of the wedding party like whatsoever. You know, <laughs> they just yeah. start there spending a lot of money. Um, but I was uh, an usher for his wedding. And of course I agreed to be an usher because it's my cousin, you know, support them too. And um, his, I knew up front that we were going to have to, you know, help clean up and everything because it was one of those you know i say cheap wedding but it was really it was really well done so it was like it looked like a really fancy wedding but it was you know you supply your own decorations it was actually a place that you were allowed to bring your own alcohol mm. and um you just had to have a like a licensed bartender that served it but you supplied your own alcohol so you didn't have to pay a venue to right. at the outrageous alcohol prices it was you know like a costco trip or whatever to get you know that's pretty get nice. all that stuff but I remember there was like 30 people ready and willing and jumping in to help clean up that knew this beforehand. So we had this venue like cleaned up and done in like, like 30 minutes after the wedding was was over. They also didn't go crazy with decorations or anything. And I originally was told I was needed to be at the venue on subspace. What the fuck is that? I don't know what you do. You go to outer space? I don't know. Using now to travel seven kilometers in the overworld. Apparently, I went a long ways. Interesting. Um, but I was originally told I had to be at the venue at on Saturday morning by eight o'clock to help set up decorations. And I was thinking, okay, whatever, you know, setting up tables, maybe putting in like table setting up things is going to take a lot longer to tear down. You got to make it look pretty, you know, when you're. Yeah. when you're setting it up well now apparently it turns out there's no uh, there's no nothing booked in the venue on friday or thursday so they're letting them go in thursday and friday to set up and i'm like thursday and friday to set up like Jesus. that seems to be 
They're set up like for our marathon or something. Hell, we don't yes. even have that much time to set up for our marathon. And and, and well, and shit, how quickly do we get done with the marathon cleanup? We're usually on a schedule to get out of yeah. there. And we make that shit fucking happen fast, like, you know. Huh. <laughs> well, I guess, man, so this wedding, this, mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like a good time. It's like a good time. I, I just I don't know I don't I don't know I, I feel so confused at what's happening anymore like that's really yeah. what it comes down to I I agree you know what I've come to decide now that I've come all the way here to the Mesa maybe concrete's the better choice <laughs> the thing that everybody's been telling you to use forever yeah I guess yeah I don't think terracotta I don't think there is a green terracotta even because I think there needs to be a green line for the farms a red line. I don't remember how to make concrete, though, but yeah, I think concrete might be the correct choice. Can you search this thing? Yeah. For concrete? Uh, I meant search the, the little green book thing. I I don't know if it'll tell you how to make concrete. It'll just give you what the concrete choices are, right? Well, no, because that's like... No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Seven minute abs. Can't even work up a sweat in six minutes. Okay, oh, here it is. It's four sand and four gravel. And then die. But yeah. don't you have to do something like You have to pour water on it afterwards. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not just putting it in your in your inventory, right? No. Well I mean you you have to craft the concrete powder and then you have to die and then you have to wet it. But yeah, I think I think say I think that I'm I think I made this cherry for no reason. Because I've after looking at the terracotta, it was for a subspace bubble. That's true. Everything's about the subspace bubbling. We're gonna have our first look at if this actually looks good all the way around this. Uh, thing or not? Damn, this pit is just driving me nuts because there's like so many enemies underneath me in this pit that are shooting at me. They're going to knock me into this damn pit. I'm going to die. Well, that's a good thing Brian helped. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. I don't understand what Brian was doing either, but he had good intentions. <laughs> I like how he likes to help us with our big random digging projects. He does. Him. Anytime we start digging, boy, Brian comes out of the woodwork. <laughs> Y'all digging something over there? <laughs> I imagine like in the Chappelle show, like whenever there's like a crackhead always peering around a corner. <laughs> Did you watch the Chappelle show? I, I've watched a few episodes of it here and there. I found it funny, but I never got super into it. Oh, man. That's one that's actually worth like really getting into. It's a good show. Um, I mean, it's no Stranger Things or anything. But... I mean, but what is? <laughs> Nothing, really. Stranger Things. Did you watch season three yet? Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And good, bad, ugly. Great. I think we might have it's talked great. about it. It's great. Remember. It's a great show. Great show. Are you, show. Are you, you're lying. Now. No, no. Uh, I thought, so honest opinion, I thought that season one was the best, and season three was number two, and season two was number three in terms of how well, good It they sounds were. like you need to learn like math. Yeah. Really <laughs> you don't season understand how to number. put things in order, <laughs> idiot. Um, season three, I thought it was number two. That's not how <laughs> this show works. Uh, but no, in terms of how good they were, I think that uh, that's the order that of goodness. But the, I, all, all three of them were good. It's a really good show, and then next season's the last one. Um, so... Uh, It'll be over what soon. do you think? Oh, did you watch the end of um, Travelers? Uh, a what? <laughs> I said well, Travelers. no, I'm, I'm not even gonna ask you because when you watch the end of that, you're oh, you're gonna kill, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep. I can't. I couldn't help you because he would just come after me, and I don't know how to. I didn't have water on my. I was trying to get water on my bar, and I didn't have it on my bar. I didn't look at him. I just came in the room, and he started attacking me. Oh, really? Yeah. You could have helped me. If one more hit, he'd have been dead. Oh well, I was worried he was going to come after me, and I'm not hiding. If he, if he, is he really going to die? I mean, I've hit him three times with a sword. I would think one more hit, he would die. Yep. Well, I might need to get him. <laughs> um, what were you saying though? Uh, no, I figured when you watch Travelers, you'll actually like tell me that you watch Travelers because yeah. You know, what was it. the show you wanted? Us um, 
The Orange is the New Black. Because it's over now, right? Is it? Did, they came out with another season, didn't they? Yes, and I think it's. I thought it was the last one. I but know. I thought that the last time as well, didn't I? You did. Um, and no, I haven't watched. So you haven't watched that new season yet. No. And then, you know, what started up again is, you know, Survivor. But I haven't seen it yet either. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, that, the I, they... I don't know if I've watched the season before. I think I did. Didn't I watch it? I, I, I think we talked. I think we talked about it. Yes. Because you waited until it was over to binge watch it all. Yeah. But I did uh, that with I was like several seasons behind. That's why I wasn't 100 percent sure if I. Uh... Yeah, This one's supposed to be interesting because the whole one of the twists. I don't know about all the twists, but it's like that they have Boston Rob and Sandra back, but not as contestants. Uh, as yeah, like the boot, the boot camp people or whatever, and I'm really curious to see where, what what that's all about. And that's one of the reasons I don't want to even start watching it right now is because I have a bad feeling, just like last time with the because uh, you said the last one was about the island um, where you weren't you could get back in the game. Yeah, yeah, we definitely talked about it and you and you watched it because okay. you hated the guy that I liked and you thought he was an arrogant prick and didn't want him to win and mm. all that stuff, uh, but. The uh, it took probably like five or six episodes before you even had any type of understanding about what was going to really happen on that island at all. Yeah, and I don't want to just start watching one episode and be like, now I still have to wait five or six episodes to understand what the hell like Boston Robin and Sandra are doing. Right. Here. I mean, I wanna... honestly, I'm at the point where I'm not watching that show unless it's all aired. I don't. I don't care about watching it episode to episode. I mean, it can be entertaining to watch episode to episode to give you something to think about for like the week. Maybe um, I don't know. We don't have any horsemen outside right now, do we? Well, the apocalypse. Yeah, well, there was yeah, there was just a huge explosion. Well, that was so the creeper means... that was trying to kill me. Oh, that wasn't a big thunderbolt. Hmm. We need a lot of gravel. I don't know the best way to get a lot of gravel. We don't have any in the chest either. How have we not had any gravel? We definitely should have a decent amount in one of the chests um, up at back at base. There's 19 here. Yeah. There. Um, I it didn't go? see it. I probably Did overlooked it? it. Yeah, I just took the 19. Maybe right. I overlooked it. I'll go back up and look. There's one. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like we've gotten a lot even digging it out of here. What is that on the wall? What have you done over there? Uh, this. What are you talking about? What? I don't have any more arrows. What is that? Uh, I don't know. I got to get closer to you and see what you're looking at. <laughs> the sandstone. Oh, that's right. I just killed the uh, Enderman. Oh, there was I made a one? platform to hide under. Yeah, there was another one down there. I got you. Yeah. So yeah, that, Rian has got. That's my permanent killed. shelf. Yeah, I was just like, what? What is this? <laughs> this ghetto that you've made. Um, so Ryuski and Brian have killed me so far, basically. Because that Enderman was in there because of Brian's unknown trenches. Uh, yeah, Where's I the sort button for chests? I, I don't see any gravel, but I'm probably just looking right at it and looking past it. Uh, here's some. Some more. Now we need sand, too. Here's some more. I was throwing it because my inventory is full. <laughs> this zombie that you can hear right here, you've been able to hear him for the last 50 or so episodes. Is he like just in a... He's like in this wall behind us. Like I guess. Like, you can't see him. I can't find him, but he's just there always moaning. Um, <laughs> he, he's that he's that guy from the last episode who's trying everything in his power to have sex <laughs> always moaning <laughs> uh, yeah we don't have much gravel which is weird I definitely remember digging out more than what it seems we pulled out of here bad I mean, we'll have to go back to the uh... I was just there it looks like uh, 
that ship has sailed. The beach? The uh, the sand pit? There's it, it's just no sand? <laughs> yeah. Yep. It is a... There's just no sand in the sand pit. There is no sand in the sand pit. <laughs> There's sandstone. There's no, I did not see any sand. There might be some. Why is, that, there, why is there a bunch of gravel just randomly exploded around the ground up here? On the way back over to our other island? Yes. Maybe I my, no, my inventory's not full. Maybe it just didn't go in my inventory. I just dug a bunch of gravel that I ran into over there. Uh, yeah, you didn't get it all. That's for sure. Huh. Let's come over to see if there was any sand in these chests. Yeah, it, I have 53 on me. I had like 40 something. So it wasn't. What was that? I don't know. I don't know. I have to go see because that was loud. That was in your house? Yeah, I think so. Come here back. Keep the mic running. I'll call for help. You guys heard it here first. Patiently waiting to see if he ever comes back. <laughs> so that was Connor for getting what he deserved, um, which was <laughs> I had uh, I'd baked bacon um, for uh, breakfasts um, and uh, breakfasts. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, like for the whole week, basically. The good old breakfasts. <laughs> well, the whole week of breakfasts. Um, and uh, so the bacon wasn't on the tray anymore, but the, tr the the tray was on the kitchen counter, and he was trying to pull it down to get bacon, and he knocked it on his head. Oh, okay. So it was loud for a reason. Yep. Luckily, it wasn't still hot or anything, so he just didn't hurt himself. He just scared himself. Yeah, so how much gravel? Is that enough gravel? That's plenty of gravel. Now we need lots of sand. Um, okay. And we'll need and lots of like pits. flowers of different colors and cactuses and whatnot. Flowers we should be able to get. Cactuses we need to we'll get a cactus farm. If yeah. we want to do that, um, we might have to do some venturing out to a new sand pit. And... Yeah, I'll have to go back and look at that one just to make sure for sure it's all gone. But it looked pretty decimated when I was just there. Uh, huh. I don't want to dig up this sand here. No, we, we got to leave our natural beauty untouched. Right. So that it's more appealing for the United States president to want to buy. <laughs> Our beaker looks black from here. Oh wait, never mind. It just turned white. <laughs> I, was, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> it looked black to me. Yeah. Looks white to me. We should put a color wheel on it. Uh, yeah, we talked about that. We did. We did. We just have to learn redstone. <laughs> Is there no way to like make this populate? I want you to populate. I mean, are you talking like? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you try to uh, seduce women? Uh, I want you to populate. Please. I would like to populate with you. Uh, oh God, do you have a bucket of water? Is there buckets over here? Probably buckets uh, I do here. have one. Where are you at, though? And I'm still in the chest. If you've left, don't worry about it. I'll just make one. Yes, I've, I've left, but. Lots of buckets of milk. I'm just gonna drink this and make a bucket of water. Oh, I have all these buckets of milk. Did you keep playing um that mod pack you were playing, the stone block or whatever it was? No, like I I stopped just because I like ran out of time, and then when I finally got time to go back to it, like my world was having problems loading, and then I just kind of gave up. <laughs> huh? What was wrong with your world? I don't know. I think it's just you know. I need a new computer one of these days. It's getting yeah. It's time for me to old, yeah, old, outdated. I run into some problems here and there. Windows updates are just like, and I don't think that's my old computer though. I think that's just everybody. Uh, but Windows updates are just killing me. 
Yeah, you know. no. You update Windows and your sound's broken and everything. It's just yep. a nightmare. It really doesn't make any yep, sense. It is. I, I don't know what Windows has done to go so bad. I see so many news articles about, you know, the next Windows update that needs a critical fix because it just happened again. They broke more stuff and people are still just like, Windows, yay. I mean, well, there's not an alternative. What is the alternative? Uh, Windows to make their shit better. Well, yeah, but until they have competition, what's the incentive? I mean, that's true. I, I get you. I just, they didn't used to be, you know, what they are right now. So I don't, I don't know think what that's true, on. though. Don't you remember Vista or Windows Me? <laughs> Not Vista. But it Windows wasn't me. like riddled with errors. It was just good. Windows me. When I remember Windows me. God, it was so it was a nightmare. I don't remember it being a nightmare. I don't I wish I had specifics. But I well I remember so you gotta remember Windows Me came out before XP, right? Yes, me was the and, X, and XP, XP was like a leaps and bounds above everything because it was all of a sudden, you know had automatic driver support and all that stuff that, you know, I remember when I used to have uh, before Windows XP, I used to reinstall my system every, you know, like month or so. I would just, I had a, would do a fresh copy of it all, reinstall it, and I had drivers sitting in a folder because it would just get riddled with viruses. And back then you couldn't really run virus scanners because all they did was like destroy your CPU. You know, everybody who was like, oh, I'm always running a virus scanner, but you couldn't play any games because it was just like chugging along. So I would just reinstall it. And I was at this folder where all my drivers were for my computer setup that I, I could get to. And Windows XP changed the world, you know, and it was everything was so easy and plug and play. And, you know, so I remember Windows me being about just as bad as Windows uh, 98. SP3. Yeah, when, yeah, I feel like it went like good versions was 98 XP and then seven. I feel like those are the order. And everything in between was garbage. I'm trying to think what else was in between besides ME. <laughs> or was it just ME that was in between XP and 7? Well, no. XP was after. Oh, right, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Was it so was after there anything? XP? Yeah, there was like. Yes. <laughs> there was things. <laughs> was there really, though? I don't know if there was. There was. I'm going to look it up. I remember 7 went to 8, and 8 was pretty stupid. What are we using now? 10. Nah. 10's all right. As well, 10's all mind. right when they don't have their updates that break shit. Yeah, that does suck. I mean, I guess in the fact that everything on your computer gets sent to the government on a regular basis. Yeah, there's that, too. Um, let's see here. Windows versions. What do you think of this red? I like it. <laughs> That's all I had. <laughs> Windows versions. Um, no, I meant that's all the red I had. <laughs> Hold on. It's coming up very slowly. Very slowly. Jesus, look. Okay. Um, personal computer versions. That's what we want. All right. So that was 10, 8.1, 8, mm -hmm. 7, Vista, XP. Vista. That's it. It was Vista. I mentioned you know, Vista a minute ago. But yeah. You, you did. <laughs> I was going to say you mentioned Vista a minute ago. Oh, ME stands for Millennium? I didn't know that. I just thought it yeah, was. Yeah, Millennium like... Edition. I didn't know that. Uh, XP, then ME, then Windows 2000, 98, Windows NT, 95, 3.1, and then DOS versions, basically. Windows 1.0, whatever the hell that I was. I just jumped down this fucking hole trying to patch this. Oh, uh, Brian's helpful hole? Yep. <laughs> well, thanks, Brian. Um, so... I don't know about the glowstone here anymore, but I guess I'll leave it until we can get more concrete. But yeah, I want to do like the red all the way down through here, but then I want to do something for the wall and the ceiling too, but I don't know what. Um, I don't know. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the ground, I guess, though. We could do kind of like what they did in the nether hub where it's in the wall, like a stripe in the hall, on the wall. 
Um, and then right. I guess we could do a rail or ice on the floor if we wanted. Um, I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking red, green for the farm. What color for villagers? And then storage. A blue for storage. Sure. So red, green, yellow, blue. It'd be like Simon says. Okay. Okay. So yellow will be villagers then. Red, green, yellow. Because yeah, I think the yellow concrete, if I remember, like, concrete. All the concrete looks pretty good. So yeah. Um, man, we should have like a big. We should, we should make the UAC monument again underground. All the little statues and stuff. I mean, that would be big. Got to make them look like it's uh, in a secret tomb room. Oh, that would be cool. I like this idea. Um, yeah, because, yeah, they'd be pyramid theme. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, We've got the best series, folks. And you know it, so you're going to leave a like, and you're going to hit a bell, and you're going <laughs> to touch penis. I don't I don't know the order you got to do all these things in, but whatever makes you feel good. As long as all the things are done, <laughs> including the penis touching, then you're good to go. And if you don't have a penis, find one and touch it. Yeah. But don't use your tongue first. But I but ask permission. <laughs> yes, yes, please do that too. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time. I guess see it.